So, Holly, can we chat with you for a, a couple of minutes? Sure. So, you were the leadoff skier, and a lot of pressure to be in the mix right away because everybody's gunning for position, but you held your own. Talk about how the race started. You were in a good position. Tell us how it all started for you. Well, it was, it was a great a great position to start out in, right in the front line. And, um, you know, the first, the first scramble leg, I mean, it, it's its namesake. It's a total scramble. I mean, people are just jockeying for position, and you know, typically the first skier is someone who like has a big presence on the track. And um, you know, like Ida Ingemar's daughter, you know, she's there are some aggressors out there. You know, I mean, she was the one that kind of took Keegan down a world champs um, in Oslo, and and um, you know, girls out there are like holding their line, and and um, it was really fun. I love I love skiing in a pack like that. And um, I had a really good start, a really good first lap, was right in there, and then um, there was a little bump uh, before a big downhill with this transition, a corner, and, you know, you kind of go from speed and then directly into a herringbone. I got caught up caught up a little bit. I don't know if it showed it on TV or not, but I'd love to see what happened. Had a little bit of an uphill fall um, and lost some momentum, so I was kind of bummed about that, but uh, I did my best not you know, to try to not give up too much time and try to keep us as, you know, as close to the, the leaders as possible. And luckily Keegan, Keegan was really able to uh, turn on the afterburners and, and you know, tag off to, to Liz with, um, with a really nice position. So, you know, watch, sweet. watching you, uh, you know, in the mix at the, at that, during the race, it was really tight and really tough because everybody was scrambling. And, uh, you know, you were right up there. Uh, we didn't see that uh, that that wobble that happened. Uh, at least it didn't show uh, on Eurosport. Uh, but we knew something. You know, we knew it was it was a tough. Uh, you know, to keep pace there, everybody was scrambling. But uh, you know, I think you came in uh, and tagged off to Keegan in eighth, but only eight seconds behind. So you know, really, uh, really in, in contention. And of course, Keegan, uh, she had the fastest leg. Uh, you know, fastest yeah. class of legs. So you guys had to have good skis. We had great skis. You know, our service team did an awesome job. I mean, they kicked like crazy, and they were not slow. And so I just want to give huge, huge kudos to, to our waxing staff. They they really outdid themselves today. And, and there's no way that we could have done that without having, having good skis. So I just really want to say thanks to them for that. Absolutely. So uh, tell us how it felt to be on the podium. Amazing. I mean, you know, we were all just talking about the rush of emotions and, and, you know, I think I finished my race, but I'm pretty sure my heart rate stayed in like zone four all the way till the end of the race. And after that, you know, it was kind of like, instead of doing a 5k workout, it was almost like a 30k. If you were to look at my heart rate profile, I'm sure. Um, you know, it was just watching, you know, watching the screens, watching the splits, running around to the track, trying to get in a good cheer when we could. Um, just, you know, this huge ball of anxiety in your stomach. And, um, you know, we didn't know what, what was going to happen. And just running back and forth, just total, total craziness. I mean, we could, t we could tell everyone was kind of watching us, and watching our reactions. And, um, you know, I mean, we were, we were at the finish line and we saw Jesse and, Christofferson kind of turned that corner and I mean we, we were just going crazy we were ecstatic and you know she crossed the finish line and we could tell that she had taken it and I mean we all just started crying and you know Jesse like fell down on the snow and was hyperventilating and I think we were trying to hug her and you know it gave her a little bit of, of a panic attack um, but you know we, we definitely made a scene out there it was it was a, a scene of happiness though and and I think every every other country and all the other coaches and stuff were really, really happy for us. Um, we got a lot of congratulatory messages and handshakes from uh, from other nations, and so that was really cool. Absolutely, you know, coming back to the coverage, you know, you guys were just awesome in second place, and there was just nonstop uh, conversation about how the the U.S. women, uh, you know, have really come on strong, and are and are contenders, and um, you know, when when the the final um, uh, leg happened, and and coming back to you, Jesse, I mean, you guys made it such an exciting race, 